doing today guys truck some water here and today's video is going to be the q and a i do at every beginning of the month so um right now it's like november um second um if you want to be part of q and a make sure you follow me on instagram link will be down in the description um i post a picture of my truck with the with the text caption q and a then you know you comment down in the comment section below i picked 10 to 15 roughly comments from that and then we i then i'm you know answer y'all's questions so let's get right into it first one that underscore 83 underscore c10 can we do a truck review on truck review or something soon love the vids it's awesome seeing you and ashley around town if you don't know who ashley is that's the name of my truck i gave it when i first bought the truck but anyways yeah man just hit me up um i'm backed up right now i think four or five truck reviews right now um but people want to do more review because after show season, people want to do reviews of their truck, so I'm kind of backed up on reviews right now, but I'll add you to the list, and then we'll go from there. But I do appreciate the support, man. Um, keep, I mean, I, I really do. It's awesome. I got underscore that underscore two-door underscore OBS. How big of a lift are you going to put on the K1500? The biggest I'm going is a three-inch level lift by Rough Country. Right now, it's on a two-inch level lift on the front from um, rough country only cranked up an inch and a quarter um the reason why is i don't like the way these trucks look most of the time now some of them they pull it off but i don't like the way that most of these trucks look past three to four inches if that makes any sense um i rather keep it more of a street truck and the le the leveling the level lift the three inch one by rough country looks perfect for my applications and how high i want to go and what wheel and tire setup i'm going to go with next um, that being said, though, I probably won't use the, the Rough Country shocks because I heard horror stories about them, and I'm probably going to go with Fox, but that's as high as I'm going to go with that. Matthew underscore Z71, what are your thoughts about my OBS? You seem to be keen on what I've done to it. We we can meet up one day, uh, bro. Dude, I hope you come to Alabama, man. I really want you to come next week in Alabama so we can hang out and finally meet each other. If you don't know who Matt is, he has a blue OBS uh, like mine, that's freaking awesome. I think his is either stock height or level running 20 by 12 with a comp cam in it, and it sounds really nasty. And I like the, I actually like the way his sounds on the exhaust on his 350. But um, I love your truck, man. Love the build. Love the Instagram page. You seem like a very down to earth guy. A very like, you know, this is my truck. It has flaws, but you know, I love it nonetheless. So um, I hope we get to meet up one day, man. Keep up the build, and thank you for the support. <laughs> Flores underscore TR, TRKN, do you think two-wheel drive should be lifted? By the way, love the vids, man. Keep it up. Thank you so much for the support, man. Me, personally, I don't have a problem with lifting two-wheel drive trucks. The only issue I have a problem with with two-wheel drive trucks is when they try to do off-road stuff that four-wheel drives do because they know they're getting stuck. But other than that, I don't have any issue with a two-wheel drive truck being lifted because if you just drive it for the street, then I can understand that. But also, like with my case... I use my full drive maybe once or twice a year, but those once or twice a year I use it, I'm glad I have it because either snow or ice or something like that. So I I mean I have no problem lifting two two-wheel drive trucks. Winston 6.7 underscore. What day are you going to Daytona? So this year Daytona is the weekend or the week after my birthday, June 1st. Um, I can't remember the dates exactly, somewhere around like the 7th through the 10th or something like that, June 2019. I'll be leaving probably coming down. Or I'll be in Daytona Wednesday, the uh, two days before the event, and probably come back Monday. That's kind of my time frame. Now, this year, I'll, of course, I'll be at the event all day, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So make sure you come say hi to me and all that stuff. But, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking of. Um, D. Kelly 01, would you ever get a single cab K1500? I would love to get the same color truck as this in a single cab with, like, the, the bucket seats. And the center console. I think that'd be really freaking cool. Um, now that being said, though, excuse me. Um, I'm not a huge. I had a single cab as my first truck, but to get another one as another driver, I need an extended cab or a four door, just because sometimes I haul people and cargo and stuff like that. But I have no problem with a single cab. Levi Pike, will you will you host a meet and greet slash truck show soon? Um, I've been asked a question a lot lately of that. The reason why I go to events is because that's when I want y'all to come and meet me and stuff like that. The reason why I don't host one is because of the liability of it and all that stuff. Like I said in a previous video before, Tiger be popping up now. 
I do not do any, I do not go to any more local stuff because of the liability. We always get kicked out by cops. Cops either show up or something like that happen or someone does something stupid. So if I could guarantee everyone's going to have a great time and no one's going to do anything stupid, then I would totally host one. But I can't guarantee that right now. I am throwing around ideas in my head about doing a meet and greet or a truck event, but it would be either 18 or older or 21 years or older, if, or you have to be have a 21 year or, or older with you. And I will check ID um, just because of the liability sake of it. If there's like a field party or something like that with alcohol involved, you know, stuff like that. But as of right now, I have, I have no, that's why I go to other meets. So y'all can meet me pretty much. Um, OBS underscore Chevy underscore life 32 do you ever plan on going to SEMA and what do you think of my page be honest I love your page man I love the content you produce you always hit shout me out man I very much appreciate it um I would love to go to SEMA I was hoping I'll go to SEMA this year and I could probably could have applied for a media pass honestly and gotten in but with the time frame of this job right now and stuff like that um, I just couldn't really do it but you are hinting at something in the future, though. Just a little heads up. If something was ever to happen to the 350, would you ever consider an HT383E swap? I was thinking about doing a 383 swap, but the route I'm going with this truck is I kind of want to go the more modern meets classic look, or modern meets classic. So I probably will go to the 53 Vortec or a 60 Vortec. But a 383 swap in these trucks are like, from what I've heard, pieces of cakes and if you want to do one they make great power and i highly recommend it but for my sake i want to think i'm gonna go 5.3 or 60 um cody anderson 7008 um if you get a new truck would it be a diesel or another gas so the new the another the other truck i'm gonna get is gonna be my tow rig slash new daily driver this would become a full-time show truck slash you know weekend truck it will be a diesel. I know I want a diesel. The only, my only issue right now is finding one that meets my criteria and my right price range for the right budget. And plus college is going, I'm still in college guys. That's taking up a lot of time and money and all that stuff. But as soon as I can afford to get one, I'm going to get one. That underscore lifted underscore 98 Yukon. What interior mods do you plan on doing? Because the interior looks great, but I, th I think audio might be a good idea. By the way, love the vids and posts, man. Thank you so much for the support, man. I very much appreciate it. What I'm doing in the interiors, I'm leaving everything pretty much stock. But I am going to add a small sub underneath the seat back here. And then I'm going to do the double DIN swap, like the TV radio swap in the dash. Um, that way, it'll, it'll look a whole lot better. Um, so... That's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm planning on doing with that, and then probably do some door speakers and stuff like that. But that audio to me is not that big of a deal because the audio on this truck ain't bad. Are you gonna get crazy bass out of it? No, but the audio on this truck is not bad at all. So it's not on the very top of my priority list. But if I get around to it this winter, I'd do it. I'm gonna do it. Project underscore Nilla. Um, are you getting spacious for the rear? No, because they're actually level with the front. The thing about these trucks is the body line, when it goes more towards the front of the truck, the front of the truck kind of goes inward on each other to make the front look a lot bigger than the back. They're actually even. Um, but, um, I mean, I'm, I might do it in the future. I'm not sure yet. Backwoodsboy.15, what's your dream truck? Right now, if I could get a dream truck... Um, probably be a brand new six seven Laramie Power or like yeah, Power Truck Laramie Cummins, or the new L five P Duramaxes because you can delete them now. Isa underscore K fifteen. Would you ever go with another wheel setup? If so, what would you go with? I am going with another wheel setup once I get the money. That is going to be a secret for right now. Um, Frosty underscore Snow uh ninety nine. How many miles does your K truck have right now it's at 234,694.8 miles um max gun underscore 6.5 what is your opinion on a full windshield tent actually i'm about to get my whole windshield tent in 35 plus the five percent brow strip i've driven trucks with 35 percent full windshield tent i freaking love them i still see out of that at night no problem especially when you have led lights like i do that blind people <laughs> But you can still see out of the night. I can't even see out of the night just fine with the 5% window tint. Because I got the, it's called this nano, 
nano tint, nano carbon tint or something like that. And it allows you to see out really well. It just doesn't have that road glare coming back at night. So I fully recommend it if you know you're not going to get pulled over all the time by cops. Adrici Lay, I'm butchering that name, but OBS 7.3 or is 12 valve Cummins? Probably 12 valve Cummins because you can do a lot more to those engines a lot easier than an OBS. Um, I'm not, I'm not saying OBSs are very reliable and they'll pull like a freight train, but the 12 valves are legendary. You can do a lot. I've driven big power 12 valves and I freaking love them. Trey Barkley, if you had to buy a Ford, which one would it be? And not for a tow rig, like one to build. Um, e well, this is going to be my tow rig. Even if I had, if even if I bought the truck without this truck here for a tow rig or not, I would buy a 2015 or 2016 F250 or 350 Lariat or Platinum Platinum Power Stroke. Um, I like the newer body styles of the new ones, but the, that year I absolutely loved the body styles of those F250s and 350s. Now the last question I've been kind of saving. Colt D97, you're coming to sing with me next year, right? Okay guys, to drop kind of a bomb for 2019, my main goal, one of my main goals in 2019 is to go to SEMA. This year, seeing everyone go to SEMA has sparked something inside of me that I don't know what it is, but I really want to go freaking bad. Even if the truck doesn't go, I mean, if the truck goes to a SEMA booth, I will literally probably shit a brick. If I'm trying to be blunt with you all, probably cry. If my truck somehow gets built to a SEMA truck or gets to be thrown in a booth at SEMA, I, I won't know what to do with myself. That's like a dream come true to me. But otherwise, if I can go to SEMA next year... I'm going to go to SEMA. Um, it's one of those things I've always wanted to do, and I'm almost at that point in my life where I can do it, or if I get invited out, that'd be awesome too. So thank you all so much for the questions, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure you, if your questions didn't get answered or commented or answered on, um, as always, next time, so make sure you watch out for those posts. Sometimes I do them twice a month. If not, I do these videos once a month, but also I do live streams every once in a while. So make sure you keep an eye out for that and ask your questions then. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Drone the Trucks and Water family. We're constantly growing, changing, and trying new and better things, guys. Your all support has been crazy lately, and I can't thank you all enough. So thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day, and remember, never give up on your dreams.